Hi, my name is Jeffrey Levinson, and I'm one of the customer advocates here at Malili. Today, I'd like to give you a brief overview of native PDF redaction. As you can see, I have already navigated to the document that we're going to use today. I'd like to get started by showing you two tools that we've created specifically for native PDF redaction. These tools are the Blackout Markup Toolbar and the Blackout Markup Visibility Toggle. Now the first thing I'm going to do is head into my Blackout Markup Toolbar. As you can see, we have two selections here. We have Redactions and Highlights. Clicking either of these will open up a drop-down menu where I can select what options I would like. So let's get started by placing a few black redactions. So I will click black, and as you can see, this has changed over to be bolded so we know what we've selected. Now to place a redaction, it's as simple as clicking and dragging. I'll place one more redaction here, and then a last one over this picture. Let's also place a white redaction over this name, and lastly, a text redaction over this section here. Now you'll notice that the text redaction has already been filled in. This is going to default to whatever the setting is for the markup set. Now we can edit this simply by right-clicking, choosing Edit, entering in our custom redaction text, and saving. Let's also add a few highlights. I'll choose highlight, I'll stick to yellow, and we'll place a few highlights here in the document. Place one here, and the last one right over here. Now, from here, let's take a look at the blackout markup visibility toggle. Again, this is similar to what we see in images. This is represented by the eyeball icon. Clicking once, will make our markups transparent. Clicking again will remove them so we can see the original document without obstruction, and clicking one more time will bring those markups back to the front for us. Now with that, how do we QC and review these markups? To do that, we've cre created the blackout markup review toggle. That's gonna be right in the bottom left of our viewer. If we click here, we open up the blackout markup review, and as you can see, all of our markups are located here. Here we can either choose to accept the redactions with the green check mark or reject them with the red X. Rejecting these will remove them from our document, or accepting them with the green check mark will bring them right back. In this tool as well, we can choose to redact annotations or attachments. Annotations and attachments will be redacted in the same way, so let's take a look at annotations. Now we can see that we have an option here to redact them. All we need to do is click, we can see redacting, and they are redacted. To unredact them, simply click the unredact button, and once completed, the redact button will reappear. Now there is two other options I'd like to take a look at. We have our Clear Markup Set button and our Download Marked Up File button. Now the Clear Markup Set button, if we use this, will remove all of the markups from the entire document. This is very useful if we want to start over and start fresh, but at the same time it is very powerful and cannot be undone once it's completed. So this option should be used with care. The other button we have is our Download Marked Up File button. This will download the redacted version of the file and at the same time burn in our redactions, meaning that anything underneath the redaction will be completely removed. This can also be done during a production preparation project. Now this has been an overview of native PDF redaction for Blackout. If you have any other questions about Blackout or the other products that Malili offers, 
feel free to contact us by emailing us at support at Thank you for watching.